I have here the small catechism. That's what I'm reading out of here. Um, so that I can give you some examples of the commandments that are in the Bible and some ways that people have broken that commandment. All right, so the eighth commandment. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. What does this mean? We should fear and love God so that we do not tell lies about our neighbor, betray him, slander him, or hurt his reputation, but defend him, speak well of him, and explain everything in the kindest way. So basically, God is forbidding us to tell lies about our neighbors um, at any time. Um, it actually says in Proverbs that a false witness will not go unpunished. So if you lie about something, you're going to be punished for it. Um, and we kind of talked about that at school. You know, it's better just to tell the truth if something happens, if you do something and then you realize that you shouldn't have done it, just tell the truth, okay? Yeah, you're probably still going to be in some trouble, but chances are you're probably going to be in less trouble if you just admit what you did was wrong. Um, something else, there were false witnesses against Jesus. So think about all the people that said he, were, he was doing bad things and he ended up being crucified because he was not doing bad things, but people said he was. So um, another one would be uh, that God doesn't want us to reveal secrets. So if someone tells you something in confidence, so they tell you a secret, they don't want you to go around telling other people. God doesn't want you to do that either. If someone confides in you and tells you something that's important to them, be trustworthy. Don't go spreading it around to your friends and saying, hey, guess what so-and-so told me? All right, don't do that. Be a good friend. Um, in some cases, it might be better to tell someone because if someone tells you a secret and it's something that's hurtful to that person, if something's happening that could hurt them, then yes, you definitely need to tell someone, okay? But if they're telling you, hey, guess what? I'm going to get a new video game for my birthday, but don't tell anybody. Okay, don't go telling anybody, okay? That's, that's what God's saying. Don't, don't tell anybody about that. All right? Um, we should also defend people. So if you know that someone's telling a lie about someone else, you should definitely stop that person, okay? You should say, you know what? I don't think that's right, and you probably shouldn't be saying that. Be honest. Be a good friend. Tell them stop. Don't spread rumors. Okay, we should always speak well of our neighbor and we should praise our neighbor. And remember, neighbor means anybody around you. Okay, um, one last thing. God says that we should love everyone. And in 1 Corinthians, it says, Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things because love never ends okay he wants you to love everyone just as he loves us so again the eighth commandment you shall not give false testimony against your neighbor what does this mean we should fear and love God so that we do not tell lies about our neighbor betray him slander him or hurt his reputation but defend him speak well of him and explain everything in the kindest way so be kind